Before Soulja Boy hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with his debut single, Crank That. Soulja Boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soulja Boy? That Superman. That before he collaborated with Snoop Dogg, Bow Wow, Migos, Chief Keef, Lil Wayne, and Gucci Mane, and beef with many including Chris Brown, Lil Yachty, Dizza, and Ice T. So I apologize, Soldier Boy, for telling you to eat a dick. That was just in anger. But as far as your music goes, it's garbage. But don't worry, Nelly left to Soldier Boy's defense. Ice T needs to, to really take a look in the mirror and understand, like, hip hop was created by the youth for the youth. So why is all these old motherfuckers trying to control this? Before launching his own label, Stacks on Deck Entertainment, releasing his own fashion line, and accumulating an estimated net worth of $23 million. Yeah, he sold a lot of ringtones. Before we'd enlist the help of Floyd Mayweather to train him for an upcoming bout in Dubai against Chris Brown. What you really, what he really mad about is I was with Rihanna. Treat me like I'm Rihanna, nigga. Beat me like you did Rihanna, nigga. See what the fuck happened, nigga. I'ma knock your bitch ass out, nigga. Born in Chirac, but raised in the South, Soldier Boy's family life was less than picture perfect. While his dad helped to get him started as a recording artist, his parents separated when he was just a kid, and his younger brother died tragically at just 14 years young. With little money to fall back on and his grades slipping, Soldier Boy focused on building an online following before breaking through to the mainstream. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Soldier Boy prior to fame. Here for you on Before They Are Famous. You guys requested this video, and there's a big boxing match coming up, so everyone's getting really excited. Let me know who you think is going to win. Also, be sure to let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. Soldier Boy was born DeAndre Cortez Way on July 28, 1990, to Lisa and Tracy Way. Born in Chicago and raised in Atlanta from the age of six, he seemed destined to get into the rap game and started listening to hip hop from a very early age. He grew up with two brothers, Tracy Lee Jenkins and Dion Jenkins. Dion would die tragically in a car accident when he was just 14 years young. DeAndre's parents broke up during his childhood. His mother Lisa apparently still lives in the rundown Atlanta house he was raised in. She would go on to date a guy who calls himself Soldier Gambino and claims that Soldier Boy, well, he got his stage name from him. But he probably takes credit for Donald Glover's stage name as well. You know what I mean? I just put little Soldier Boy, tell him on blast. His mama gave him my name. You know what I'm saying? And most importantly, he ain't taking care of his mama. DeAndre's father Tracy had a huge impact on him growing up. When he was 14 years old, he moved with his father to Batesville, Mississippi, where dad provided him with access to a recording studio. Soldier Boy would then mix the tracks on a bootleg version of Fruity Loops, blending influences from all three of his hometowns. Soldier Boy began calling his own sound Shylanta Sippy. DeAndre attended Batesville South Panola High School, where his once straight A grades began to slip. As he turned his attention to music, he teamed up with Arab to form the hip hop duo known as 3030 Boys and hired Michael Sykes as his manager. In 2004, he would return to Atlanta, where Derek Crooms would begin managing him and hooked him up with his first gig at a nightclub in Indianapolis. Soon after, he was discovered by veteran producer Mr. Kali Park, who helped to bring Soldier Boy into the mainstream. I'm, I'm good. I've done, I've worked hard and um, I've not made many bad decisions. But more than anything else, it was Soldier Boy's crafty use of the internet that helped to promote him early on. According to Pitchfork, Soldier Boy would use P2P programs like LimeWire to essentially trick people into listening to him, tagging his songs with big names like Michael Jackson, which is kind of a sketchy move. But hey, everything about the Napster age was a little sketchy. They'll hire private detectives who will follow you day and night. You're a target for high-priced escorts. I can't prove it, but I know they tap my phones. Whatever it is that's gonna trip you up, you've done already. In 2005, before joining YouTube or MySpace, Soldier Boy created an account on a website called SoundClick. At one point, he was averaging 19,000 daily downloads on that site, earning him nearly $10,000 per day. While most of his early web presence has been since deleted, some of his songs on SoundClick, they still remain. Come on, girl, let me see that ass shake. Take it to the floor and make that sexy ass vibrate. 
After receiving attention on SoundClick, Soldier Boy set up his website SoldierBoyTellEm.com. Eventually, Soldier Boy would expand his online presence to virtually every music and social media site on the web and become number one on MySpace. It was in March of 2007 that he released his first independent album, unsigned and still major, to album before to album. The same month he recorded the song that would catapult him to number one. You. Soldier Boy Tough. Hey, I got this new dance for y'all called Soldier Boy. Crank That was a viral sensation. It became the lead single off his debut studio album, SoldierBoyTellEm.com, and accompanied by the Soldier Boy Dance, which was the biggest dance craze since the Macarena. You know, you've all done it at a wedding, or at grad, or just in your room. It's kind of fun. You know what I mean? As for the rest of the story, well, you'll have to wait and hear it in an After They Were Famous video because we're gonna make one, like this week. Be sure to let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next. My name is Michael McCredden and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. You guys have long asked for the Soldier Boy video, so here you go. We've also done Salento in the past, but we've done about 600 videos on rappers. Seriously, like think of someone, we've probably done them, or at least their friend. Rouse around, hit subscribe, I'll see you guys in another video. Everybody with their kid groups was coming to me and like crank the, crank the Spider-Man, all the dancing. Crank that abortion? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I don't like kids. That. <laughs>